are many ways to improve the performance of your sled, and I'm not just talking underhood performance, but ride and handling performance as well. It could be a new set of skis, a new set of shocks, or something even easier, like traction products. There are many different options when it comes to traction products. So many different brands and many different traction and steering improvement concepts and designs, all attempting to do the same thing. Make your sled hook up and handle better. At the end of the day, a new set of carbides, some ski enhancement products, or a fresh set of studs can have as much or more impact on the way your sled handles than many more expensive options will. Today, we're going to install a set of Woody's Navigator Ski Protectors on our Skidoo Expedition Extreme and a set of 96 studs in our new Polaris Indy SP. And we're doing these upgrades for very specific reasons. Skidoo's are known for their incredibly accurate and precise steering, but it's no secret this comes at the expense of a more nervous front end. The Navigator Ski Protector is designed to settle the front end of any single runner pilot ski equipped Skidoo and help protect your plastic ski when you're traveling over hard surfaces. The concept is really quite simple. Darting and a nervous front end feel are the result of your carbide runners falling into other people's ski tracks and following them instead of the path the driver is steering towards. There are a number of different options on the market for fixing this problem. The design concept behind most of them is very similar. Smooth the snow out in front of your carbide so it can cut its own path instead of following another one. Think of these things as tiny little trail groomers for your skis. They effectively reset the snow in front of your runner so it has a fresh surface to work with. The inevitable and very understandable question you probably have is this, do they work? And the answer is yes. Now let's take a look at our Indy SP. Now this sled handles great just the way it is and it's super fast, but because it has a coupled skid frame, it doesn't transfer weight to the rear on acceleration as much as a sled with an uncoupled rear suspension would. Which means your track isn't being forced into the ground as hard as it needs to be if you want maximum forward thrust. You can fiddle with your suspension settings till you're blue in the face and see little improvement. Or you can have a set of studs installed and get all the extra traction you're looking for. There are a few things you need to consider when you're looking to buy studs. First and most important is you need to find out if your sled has a one or two ply track. Stud manufacturers like Woody's make specific products for each type of track, and most often they're not interchangeable. Our Indy has a two ply track, so we chose to go with Woody's Gold Diggers because they have a great reputation for providing excellent traction and having long wear life thanks to their durable 60 degree carbide tip. The next thing you need to figure out is what lug height track you have so you know what length of studs to buy. There's no official set in stone rule for how far your studs can protrude past the lug on your track. But obviously not enough is gonna result in poor traction and too much could cause damage. Our Indy is equipped with a track with a 1.25 inch lug. So we're gonna choose a gold digger stud in a 1.325 inch length. This will allow the stud to protrude past the lug just enough without causing any negative interference with our heat exchangers or tunnel. Finally, you need to decide how many studs you want to run, and this is all based on preference. Lots of studs will give you incredible traction, but could result in a sled that's hard to steer. Not enough studs could simply be ineffective and therefore a waste of money. We went with 96 studs for our Indy, and I think this is the perfect starting point. If you're not sure what to choose, most manufacturers like Woody's have got an application guide on their website to help you get the perfect setup. There are many ways to improve a snowmobile, but remember, it's not always the most expensive or most impressive that will have the biggest effect. The easiest place to start is to find out what traction products are available for your sled, what effect they're gonna have, and decide whether or not those results will be to your liking. If you enjoyed the video that you just saw, like it and then subscribe to our page for more great content from Snowtracks TV.